Hi, this is vlog number 34. Uh, this is me uh, trying to achieve double bodyweight squat uh, within 12 months of starting back from the end of last lockdown. Uh, so last week uh, I discussed um, being in isolation for, for COVID. Uh, even though I didn't have any um, symptoms, I started to do the, 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 the 10 days in isolation. It turned out to be nearly a fortnight for me because of family-based issues. Uh, so back in training this week and... Um, uh, I'm not going to share with you any data, but I'm going to kind of basically describe what's happened. And it's it's been brutal, to be honest. It's been um, humbling and uh, frustrating in equal measure. Um, so first set of uh, the monitoring side of things, did my three reps of, of clean and jerk, clean and three reps of snatch. And actually snatch was okay. I, I felt like it was pretty good. The clean was down. Um, the first two, first sets, I've done two sessions so far. So Monday, Wednesday. Uh, and in squat of, of 85 kilos in the front squat on both days. And actually, the, the tempo, the velocities were pretty good. Uh, a little bit down to where I was, but not like a, a nosedive. But then, oh, it's, the, my work capacity has literally nosedived. Um, I did one set on Monday, and my legs were, were in spasm. I just couldn't do another set. Um, I might do some good mornings, because that's more posterior chain focus, but my quads were literally in spasm. Um Today, same again, set velocity was good, um, as good as it was just before I, um, I was isolating. But I couldn't finish the next set. I, I had to try and do three reps of 105 on the front squats, and I just couldn't do it. I just could not finish the set, and I was doing that comfortably. Um, an IP of 7, 8 before those 10 days. So that, that 10 days off has really, really set me back. Um, what I don't know is, how much of that was uh, having 10 days off or, or basically sitting around doing nothing at, at 40 plus, uh, how much that, that kind of really uh, knocked you back. I don't know how much of it was. Um, even though it was asymptomatic, I, ha- I, I was positive for COVID and, and my body was obviously fighting an infection in some kind of way and that's uh, knocked me back. Um, after COVID, I've left with a bit of like a nasal infection, really kind of, congested uh maybe i'm fighting a bit of an infection there and, and i just don't have any capacity left to to do a lot of training with i, I couldn't give you a, a definitive answer why but basically um i just can't do the workouts i was doing two weeks ago um i just i can't do the volume of exercises and i can't do the volume of sets for each exercise that i do do it's it's been really um i'm not gonna say demotivating i'm gonna say uh, frustrating and um yeah just frustrating kind of period of time where yeah and I, I, I had to have two weeks off it wasn't my choice it was out of my control i just had to get it done felt physically okay i didn't have any symptoms i didn't really feel like i missed a beat whilst i was isolated i knew that i'd i'd go back a little bit but i didn't realize just how much i'd go back um the realization is now that Given the fact that I can't finish a workout and I've only got a couple of months left to, to do it, I'm not going to do my target. That, that's that's accepted. But what's what does that look like for me now? Do I give up? Do I see where I can get to in 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 in, in, in the twelve month period, or I'm going to go? No, actually, the goal is still the goal. Uh, I have to reframe the target deadline, but I'm still mindful that I really want that. That achievement <clears throat> and that's really the, the goal the achievement is is what, what's driving me on forward so i'm not giving up <clears throat> if it takes me two years what what not one year that's great no problem i've still done double bodyweight squats so i want to have that sense of achievement that no matter how long it takes me i'm still going to do it um i enjoy the process as frustrating as it can be at times um i'm gonna i'm gonna do it um and to hell with how long it takes um, because striving for that particular goal will make me healthier, fitter, stronger, leaner, uh, and more mobile. So that's that's just grin and bear it now, and just take, take as long as it takes. But it's gonna be, I am going to get it done. Not that I'm going to allow it go on forever, but it just goes. Right, I'm going to do it in eighteen months, not twelve months. Um, so that that's going to be um, not a long one, not a lot of day to this week. Um, yeah, so for for those people out there who are 
isolating and, and certainly a, a, a beyond a certain age. I, I, I have every sympathy for you and um, it knocks you back, but it doesn't keep you down. It just sets you back a little bit. So onwards and upwards and uh, hopefully next week I'll have a, have a brighter picture and I can share some data of, of me getting better. Uh, but I don't know that today.